week's game is called the marker matchup. Grab a buddy, crayons or markers, whatever you have, and mix them all up. Try to see how many pairs you can make and who can do it the fastest. Three, two, one. Hey Divine Kids, it's Darlene. I've missed you guys so much. I hope that you guys had an amazing summer. Mine was pretty great, it was pretty fun. I hope you had lots of fun during the summer. And I just wanna share something that is super important to my heart. And then at the end, I wanna do a very special prayer over your life to bless you over this awesome school year. This school year, I feel that we all need to create a relationship with God. And the best way to do that is by first reading the Bible. When you read the Bible, you get answers to so many things and you realize who God really is to you specifically. And when you're at school and people ask you, who is God? Why do you listen to God? Why do you talk to God? You know, you will have answers for them and you could tell them, you know what? God loves you too. And 1 Peter 3.15 says, But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you give you to give the reason for the hope that you have. So when your friends at school or anywhere, they ask you, why are you always so happy? You know, you can say, God makes me happy. Who, who do you talk to when you're really sad? I talk to God because he's my best friend and he helps me through my troubles. So this year, read the Bible every morning, a few chapters a day, and you will get to know God on a different level and you will be amazed by him. I want to give you an example from when I read the Bible. There was a disciple named Philip and after Jesus went to heaven, after he died on the cross, he went to town to town, from city to city, from country to country, and he would share who God really was. And there was an Ethiopian who asked, why do you love God so much? Why do you talk about him all the time? And at that time, Philip was reading the Bible and he showed the Ethiopian who God really was and that he was the actual Messiah, that he was the actual God of this earth, of the heavens, of the ground, you know? And so, and then when he did that, the Ethiopian was like, I wanna give my life to God. And he gave his life to God. And I think we can all be like Philip. We can study the word of God. And when our friend comes and asks, why do you study the word of God so much? Why do you love God so much? We can say, well, because he's amazing. He created all of this, he created you. And so we need to study the word of God to really know him and to share all the good news with all the people. So right where you are, I just want you to close your eyes and bow your head or even raise up your hands if you want to. So thank you, God, for this amazing Sunday, for this amazing day. We're going to have so much fun today. And over this school year, I pray that we're going to learn so much. We're going to have the best friends. We're going to have the best teachers, and we're going to learn so much. But also, while we learn so much in school, we're also going to learn so much about you. We're going to study the Word of God. We're going to study the Bible. And so I bless this school year. I bless you guys. And you guys are going to have such an awesome school year. And in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for connecting today. Have an awesome day. Don't stop having fun and see you next Sunday.